everyone, Elisa here from Lama on Arrival Crochet. Today I'm here for my final episode of the Lion Brain Yarn Haul. And this time it will be summer yarns. So my the lighter yarns, which I'm very excited for. Two of my favorite summer yarns will be in here. Uh, I love bamboo yarn. So I'll show you which ones those are when we get to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first one I haven't tried. I saw it at Joanne's all... I guess it was last summer. I haven't been in a yarn store in quite a while, in over a year. So I don't even remember. I remember seeing it and I kept looking at it and never had a reason to get it. But, well, I had a reason to get it, but I didn't want to make my daughter too many tops when she was little because she was at that phase where she was growing so quickly that by the time I finished the top, <laughs> she'd outgrow it in a couple weeks. But anyway, so. I decided to go for it and try it and it's the ice cream cotton blend i got it in the rainbow color i really like that the colors how they all are so bright and stand out i'm a big rainbow yarn fan or bright i like bright colors i like to make things that are attractive to the eye okay so that's that one so I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet but maybe a top so that's the first one now the next one I love true boo love true boo I love kaboo this one is true boo it is so silky soft and I just want to make myself a whole bunch of wearables so when I can go out and about again then I can well I can just buy plain shirts to put with all my kaboo and true boo tops and summer cardigans and whatnot. So this is, I, I'm sorry, this, oh, this was called Rainbow. I didn't tell you the name, but the name's Rainbow. Okay. So my True Boo is hot pink and light pink. So I got these to go together. I was thinking maybe something florally, but I don't know yet, but I thought that would be really pretty to put together. I have to find a good stitch that'll work with these so I'm excited for that it's so soft I love true boo and I haven't really I made stuff in it but not not stuff I wear so I have to make myself something in this yarn okay so that's the true boo next one now I've seen this and I didn't want to get it because it was more expensive and it's the Pima cotton so it's a hundred percent Pima, I was 100% cotton. Pima's a nicer cotton. Hold on. Sorry. Kids barging in. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Anyway, so this is the Pima cotton yarn. Um, now, Pima cotton is very nice yarn. It's very, very soft. It's a very soft yarn. And this is 186 yards. And the color is mulberry. Now, I've seen this for a while. And I always thought about getting it. But... As nice as it is, now I know this is a four weight and this is a three weight, but as nice as this is, this is usually full price. I think it's like $6 for 186 yards. I'd rather spend more time using True Boo with the skinnier hook to make something just because I love this. And I believe this one is $6, but I usually wait for their wait to have a coupon and then I buy it. But I just... I, I couldn't tear away from the True Boo to try this. So I decided to give it a go. And it, it feels soft. It feels nice, definitely. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But it'll probably be a wearable. So I'm excited for that. Definitely nice and soft. So, and I told you that color is mulberry. And that's it for that one. So the next one, I did buy this one when it came out. I had a few of them, but I didn't have enough, so I bought another one. This one is Oh Baby Organic. And it is the color mauve. It's 180 yards, and it's a two, fine two-weight yarn. Now, normally I probably wouldn't have bought more because I bought this originally to play with it, and I think I used the bigger hook. But now that I have my furrows hooks, I can go down to smaller hooks, and it's not a problem. So I'm excited to try that out. Well, not I've tried it out, but I 
see what else what I end up doing with that I think I'm excited for that so that's the oh baby organic now it's nice and soft it's for baby yarn I'd say that obviously the pima cotton is softer because pima cotton's a nicer than I'm not sure what this is this is just organic cotton but it's definitely I, I would say it's okay definitely okay for a wearable great for a baby single theme all pinks and purples so when I was doing this yarn haul I was um, trying to use my gift card up and I was looking at the different yarns uh, my mother-in-law and I were doing it together and we kept picking out the same like pinks purples and blues so trying to vary it out but it didn't work out quite as well but that's okay I got the pretty colors that I wanted so it's okay so this next one is Kabu. Now I showed you Kaboo last time. It was the terracotta that's their color of the year. This one is mauve. I don't I think I bought this one because I wanted the terracotta, but I wasn't gonna put an order in yet when it first came out. And they had this at Walmart, so I was like, okay, I'll just pick it up at Walmart and I thought it'd be pinkier. Now it wasn't as not pinkier, but it, it wasn't quite the shade that it was, but it is so, still very pretty. And when I worked it up. It came out really nice. The only thing is it, it's like a shade lighter than the terracotta. So I'm going to have to make sure I definitely do something different with this than I do with the terracotta because it's going to look like I have the same thing twice and some pretty much almost the same color. But anyway, I'm hoping to get this pattern out for you soon. I have to find some testers to work on this and it is a fun, pretty stitch and I can't wait to show you that. So that's this one, the mauve in the Kaboo. Both very soft. This is True Boo and this is Kaboo. True Boo is definitely silkier, but these two are my favorite, the True Boo and Kaboo yarns. Okay, so I've got another Kaboo. This one is Thistle. That's coming up a little bluer than it actually is. It's a little bit more purpley than it is on the screen. That's that one. I can't wait. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet, but I'm excited for that one. Okay, almost done. Got a couple more to go. So I got another Kaboo. I think I wanted to put this with something. Maybe I was gonna put it with a terracotta. This is pale pink. How pretty that is. So that's my Kaboo. Maybe I'll make my daughter something with that. And then the last two I got were new yarns. So I wanted to try these out, but I'm not sure what to do with them yet. Because I, I like to use Chubu and Kabu to make cardigans or summer tops. However, this one, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe make some, well, I like to say make a top for if I go somewhere nicer, but not going anywhere. But that's okay. So this first one is Night Sky. It's really hard to get that sparkle you can kind of see it in there that sparkle but it's got a nice hint of sparkle running through it and it's it's almost like iridescent sort of maybe it's green but this one is plum so I got these two colors I'm not sure Maybe I should make a shawl with them. I don't know. But I really love Chubu, so I had to try the sparkle ones. Let me compare them. So this was the sparkle. This one is the plum. So the regular is 241 yards. The sparkle is 178. They're both three weights. Call for the same crochet hook and knitting needle. 
Uh, this one is 96% bamboo and 4% polyester, but, and this one's 100%, but that's, I'm assuming that's counting in that sparkle. Usually when they have that sparkle through there, they're not 100% whatever they are. So there's that. So pretty much everything else about them is identical. The only thing is this one feels soft, but it feels more like um, Kaboo, whereas the regular Chubu feels silky soft, like, well, Chubu does, it's, it's silky soft, where this is more, feels more like Kaboo that's part cotton, part bamboo. Um, anyway, that's my yarn haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.